did you know there's a new fast fiber network from Optimum? And you may not even know it, but there's a good chance you can upgrade for it today. I will show you the best way to check if it's available in your home. This review only covers their internet and Wi-Fi, but not their TV or phone services. I will show you what the installation process was like, how the new equipment looks, and showing you speed tests both of wired and Wi-Fi speeds. Finally, I'll show you how to set your modem in bridge mode so you can install your own router. Let's get started. In June of 2016, Optimum and Suddenlink Communications were purchased by Altis and created Altis USA and became the fourth largest cable provider in the US. Soon after, Altis promised to upgrade all of its footprint from using their outdated copper network to the newer, faster fiber. As of September 2021, they are about 90% completed with this upgrade. What's interesting is that even with the old copper internet, they are still able to push one gig download speeds, but can only offer 50 Mbps for upload. This can get confusing for users as they think by upgrading to the one gig, they will get the new fiber network, but they could just be upgrading to one gig using the old copper network. The 50 Mbps upload is just not fast enough for the modern world that relies heavy on the internet. These upload speeds can get bogged down easily with everyone doing video conferencing, playing video games, and streaming everything through television. With Fiverr, you're able to get up to one gig symmetrical or equal speeds both for downloading and for uploading. I live in the western part of Passaic County where it's all forest and lakes in my area. We do not have Verizon fiber available, so we're stuck with Optimum. For a long time, I was very unhappy with the unreliable speeds of their old copper network where sometimes it was good and sometimes it was just horrible and unusable. Fast forward to mid-2021, I was finally able to sign up for fiber. Let's look at what the installation process was like. The installation took about four hours where the tech had to remove my old copper line and he had to install a new fiber line from across the street at the utility pole. This portion was definitely the longest part of the process as he had to run a line between two of the poles and that tech was working by himself that day. Once he was done on the outside, he used the same hole entering my home where the old copper line used to run. And he replaced it with a new fiber line at the entry point. Let's look at what that fiber equipment looks like. Inside the house, they attach a small box that extends the fiber from the outside to the fiber gateway inside. This is the fiber modem which offers four local area network ports where you can wire devices directly to your modem that can benefit from this such as your computer or your television. If you enable bridge mode, you will need to use the first port to connect to your router which will give your router its own unique public IP address. A phone call to Optimum will be needed in order for this to be enabled. Stay tuned until the end and I'll show you how to get this enabled. If you don't enable bridge mode and connect your router as is, the fiber gateway will give your router a private IP address and not a public IP address. I recommend you only enable bridge mode if you have a more powerful Wi-Fi 6 router since what Optimum provides is already fast enough. The speed test is the most exciting part for me as I never thought I would be able to get gig speeds, especially living in the Schreier since it's all forest here. Anyhow, 
So as you can see, I'm getting the full gig speed, but keep in mind, I'm directly wired into my network. And you also have to make sure that your local network port is achieving gig speeds. Otherwise, you may be locked down at 100 Mbps and you won't be able to get the one gig even if Optimum is still delivering that one gig. To check on this, go to Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center, Adapter Settings. Right click your network adapter and click on Status. If it's good at one gig, it'll say under Status 1 gig. For wireless, I'll be testing on the Galaxy S21 Ultra and using my own router, which is the Asus GT AX11000 with Wi-Fi 6. And I'll also be testing on the one provided with Optimum, which also does Wi-Fi 6. To my surprise, the Optimum router actually does a little bit better than my Asus. However, since my Asus has more features, I'll continue to use that one for, my, for all my devices. You will need to check with your modem and the type of cable that is connecting to it. If you are on cable or copper network, you will have a coaxial cable connecting to the back of your modem. If you have fiber, the cable looks different and you'll have a fiber cable going to the back of your modem or your gateway. The router itself or the gateway also looks a little bit different but they do look similar, so it can get a little confusing. Keep in mind that you might also have fiber with the first generation of gateways, which offered Wi-Fi 5, and these Wi-Fi speeds are definitely slower than the new Wi-Fi 6. As of around June of this year, the new fiber installs can now get Wi-Fi 6 with their installation. If you call them up, they will also upgrade you to this newer gateway. I tested with speeds of the included gateway and they were actually faster than my very expensive ASUS router. So if you don't want to spend money on another router, you don't have to as the, the router they provide is fast enough for everything that you need. The easiest way to see if you have fiber available is to navigate to optimum.com slash fiber and here you will enter your home address and it'll tell you if it's available or not. If you have fiber internet available you will see this option here where it shows fiber internet and you can get it from 100 Mbps all the way up to 1 gig speed. If you don't have fiber available yet you will see options for optimum 100 up to one gig but if you notice it doesn't say fiber internet again the downside to this is that they will offer they will not offer symmetrical speeds and they will put you on the old copper network or maintain you there since most likely that's what you have now by default the fiber gateway that optimum provides gets assigned a public routable ip address and your internal network devices get private IP addresses. If you simply attach another Wi-Fi router to it, this router will also get a private IP address and something called double natting happens. But I'm not gonna go into the technical details on that. To put it in more simple terms, the best thing to do if you want your own router is to enable bridge mode so that your router directly gets a public IP address assigned. The good news is that Optimum now lets you enable that. To do this, you will need to call Optimum or use their chat after you log in with your account on their website. You will need to provide your account number, your gateway MAC address, which you can find under the device or behind it. And they refer to this as by your own router mode. After they change it on the back end, they will reboot your gateway and you will now be able to connect your router on port number one. Once you do this, your router will now get a public IP address and you will be all set. Another thing to note is that you cannot disable the Wi-Fi on your gateway. 
even after enabling bridge mode. I like to use that Wi-Fi as a backup or to share with guests as this will be separate from your main network. I'm happy to report that my speed has been consistent at 940 down and 940 up at any time of the day. It doesn't even seem to get affected at peak hours like the old network used to. I have experienced only one outage after the recent Hurricane Ida, where it lasted from 12 p.m. up to 9 p.m., but that's to be expected with these natural disasters, and I'm glad they were able to resolve it with the same day. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the fiber that Optimum provides as they are able to provide the speeds that I'm paying for at the $94. If you have Verizon Fiber also available, you will get a cheaper price offered to you around $60, I believe. But if you're stuck with only Optimum, you'll have to pay the higher price, unfortunately. If this video has helped you, please like and subscribe to our channel. And this will mean a lot to me and will make a huge difference. Thanks.